Now in the previous part of the question, we had the curve C with equation Y equals X times five minus X, and the line L having equation two Y equals five X plus four. And we found in part A that they didn't intersect. Now we're asked to sketch the curve C and the line L on the same diagram, showing the coordinates of the points at which C and L meet the axes. So we'll start then by just sketching on our axes. So we've got our x-axis and our y-axis. And if we start with C, we'll do it in red, the curve y equals x times five minus x. Then if I wanted to check where this crossed the x-axis, that would be when y equals zero. So when y equals zero, we've got zero equals x times five minus x. And we've got two factors here, the x and the five minus x that would equal zero. So we could say therefore x equals zero or five minus x equals zero. And that would lead to x equaling five. So we've got the two points x equals zero or x equals five where this curve crosses the x-axis. So mark that in, we've got the origin there at zero and at five, just put that there as five. Now, when x equals zero, we know y equals zero, so we can see that this curve crosses the y-axis at the origin then. It's a negative x squared graph. If you expand this, you've got five x minus x squared. So being a negative x squared graph, we should know that this is parabolic in shape, but it is an upside down parabola, something like that, okay? So we just need to sketch this in. So it's gonna come up through the origin like so, over the top here, and then back down again through the five. So looking something like that, not a great sketch, maybe just take that part out and just try and sketch that in a bit better this time. Okay, something like that though. So we've shown where that graph then crosses the x-axis and the y-axis. Now we need to look at the other graph, the graph of L, the equation of the line. And we've got, for that one, we've got 2y equals 5x plus 4. And I could rearrange it to y equals mx plus c, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to say that when x equals zero, this will tell us when it, where it crosses the y-axis. When x equals zero, you can see we get 2y equals four, which follows then that y must equal two. So it crosses the y-axis at naught two. So we'll say that naught two is say a point there. Where does it cross the x-axis? Well, it crosses the x-axis when y is zero. So when y equals zero, then we've got zero here equals five x plus four. Zero equals five x plus four. And if we rearrange this, if we subtract four from both sides, it will give us minus four equals five x. And then if we divide by minus five, x equals minus four fifths. So we can see that minus four fifths, let's say, is that point there, minus four fifths. So we've got our line going through those points, something like that, and the line's going to continue out through there. Okay, so that would be a sketch of C and L on the same diagram, showing the coordinates of the points at which C and L meet the axes.